Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of theory on uh, troubleshooting electronics in your car. Uh, first we're going to do the theory on it a little bit here and then I'll go out and I'll do some examples on my truck. So what we're looking at here is a very simplified electrical circuit of what's going on in your car. You have a battery and you have a load. This is the symbol for a resistor in electronics drawings. Uh, resistance and load are about everything is going to be resistance in the circuits we're looking at. So in theory you would have 12 volts here and 12 volts here. But in reality you have a connection from your battery to your battery terminal and then a connection from your battery terminal to the battery cable from the battery cable to your motor and to your body on the negative side. So each of those connections along with this wire represents a more resistance or more load, a potential of it, if it's a bad connection. So if I have a bad connection here on my battery terminal, that will drop, that will take off some of the voltage and won't let it, all the voltage won't get to your electronics in your car. Same goes if there's a bad connection anywhere else. Now if a connection is completely broken, then I could put, this is going to represent the terminal right here. We're going to say this is the terminal that I'm touching with this probe. If nothing is working in my car and I have voltage across the battery and nothing at all is happening, the door, door lights won't come on, nothing, no headlights, emergency flashes or anything, what I would want to do is go from the battery terminal to the battery connector with my meter on DC voltage and if I see any voltage there, um, that represents a bad connection. If I see heading towards the same number as I see here, that means that there is no connection. So th if you're getting a number between your battery terminal and your battery connector on DC voltage, that means that you, are, you need to clean your battery terminal. Um, if, you wanna, if you are getting things on, if stuff does work, but something seems like it might be off electronically, you can do this with both terminals. Uh, you would just leave your car off, turn on the headlights, go from the terminal to the connector on both sides of the battery, and see if you get a voltage reading. If you get a voltage reading, that means you have a bad connection and you need to clean it. If you're going from your battery terminal to your battery connector and you have zero volts, you then go from your battery uh, battery connector, if it's possible you touch the connect the uh, wire itself in the terminal. Which should, you shouldn't see any exposed conductor there, but if you do you should test between that and the connector. Uh, again you should see zero. and you just keep working your way down the circuit and then once you've tested there you want to go from your terminal again to the body of the car or the motor somewhere with bare metal that you can get a good contact on and if you're reading if you read full battery voltage that means your open is between where you're touching and the battery this wire was broken right there and I touched from the battery terminal to here I would get 12 volts. If this is connected and I touch from here to here ideally I would see 0 volts but you're probably going to see just a little bit. You don't want to see more than 0 0.02 I'm going to say. It's, that's just an approximation. If you know a lot because you're not we're not in theory you're in reality. So you're going to see just a little bit but you don't want to see very much at all. 0.02 would be where I start wondering if something's wrong. 
with just like your headlights or something on. Uh, what, what happens while we're reading these voltages across this wire is because we have resistance. I should have set this equation up a little differently. But volts multiplied by amps equals resistance. So if I get, uh, let's just say one volt, I'm seeing one volt across from here to here. Then however much current or power, oh, not power te technically not power, but it'll tell us how much current, if we know how much current's coming through there, we could calculate our exact resistance. But basically we don't want resistance. So we want to see almost zero voltage here to multiply by whatever the amps is equals that resistance. So if we're seeing hardly anything in the voltage, that means there's resistance and we don't want resistance. Uh, this equation can be changed around to any direction you want it to, um, but that's a little more theory heavy than what I want to go into today. If um, any of y'all are interested in more advanced theory side of things, let me know and I can definitely go into that. That's uh, the kind of thing I do for a living. But we're going to head out to the garage now and we're going to get some a uh, little bit of hands-on examples of this and go from there. All right, we're out in the garage now and I've cut on the headlights to create a load or a resistance. Uh, well, a load, on the, put a load on the battery. So I'm going to test the battery terminal to see if I have a good connection from my connector to my terminal. Put my probes there with my meter on DC voltage and I'm seeing several zeros there in a number. Uh, as I said, 0 0.02 is where I would start kind of wondering if there's an issue. You don't need this kind of precision meter. You can get the freebie from Harbor Freight and I'll tell you everything you need to know for these tests. And you see the symbol I got on there, the V with the solid line and the dashed line, that's the symbol for DC voltage. So in my case, the next test I would do is because I'm gonna, it's probably a bad connection there because I got wire sticking out of that. So I'm gonna test from that wire that's sticking out to there. And yep, 0 0.024. That's telling me that's a bad connection. So I need to repair that. I need to get in there and clean all the corrosion off of that and uh, probably replace this terminal with something better or even replace this whole ground wire. Same thing goes on the positive side of the battery. Orientation of the uh, positive and negative leads doesn't really matter. You're just going to get a negative or a positive number. Uh, that's a fairly low amount there. I wouldn't consider that an issue. Uh, we go across our starter solenoid here. If we're having issues starting the vehicle, or it's not starting rather, we can test across our starter solenoid. Uh, the one I have my negative probe on goes to the battery. The one I have my positive probe on goes to the starter. With the key in the off or run position, I should see the same voltage I would see across the negative and positive terminals on my battery which I'm seeing here, 12.088. Uh, and we can verify that, just go here and here. Can't do it on the camera. But if I then had someone turn the key to the start position, that's not good. Uh, if I had someone turn the key to the start position, I should see, uh, I should see this voltage reading drop to near zero. Once and if it does not drop to zero, that indicates that either the power wire coming from the ignition to tell the starter to spin isn't getting a signal, or this is bad. If you're hearing a click in here and this voltage drops but does not get below three quarters of a volt, then you're going to need to replace this. Uh, if you do not hear a click in here, you're going to want to connect the small wire that comes off of it here is what the signal from the ignition is. So you're going to want to put your probe on that and your negative and have someone try, obviously not through the rubber boot, I just can't take it off with one hand, from the wire in here to your negative and have somebody try and start it and see if you get a 12 volt signal there. Actually, let me be sure I'm correct there. This may be one that is always hot and this grounds it. Well, let me make sure I'm telling you the right thing here.
Yeah, you should see a, you should get a signal. When you try and start it like this, well, not necessarily like this, with your wire touching this, from here to your negative, you should get a 12 volt signal. And the same thing goes for testing your body ground. If I have a load on, i.e. the headlights right now, and I go from the battery terminal to the body ground, I'm getting a little bit of voltage there, which means which we know from here that this is where our issue is. But that means I need to clean, clean the ground somewhere. Hope that can help somebody out a little bit. But uh, that's about all I got right this second. Like I say, if anybody has a specific electronic issue you'd like me to uh, simulate with this truck, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to uh, simulate how I would test it for you. And I uh, hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.